my throat. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Sugar Station, I'm back with another freaking video. So, I'm not posting on my main channel today. But I'm posting on my vlog channel. Y'all know I have been, you know, I haven't, <clears throat> I don't know why my voice keep cracking. It's early in the morning, y'all. It's, um, 8.22. Um, I have an interview at 9 at Walmart, um, for, like, a stock position. I'll be stocking, like, frozen and dairy, um, stuff. And I get paid. Thirteen dollars an hour, and my hours would be five a.m. to two, which I don't think is bad. I think it's great, actually. Um, cause even when um, it doesn't matter if I have to work the weekends because either way, I still have the rest of the day off, so it don't really matter to me. But um, yeah, it's lit. So that means I'm be able to put out more content for y'all and stuff like that. Um, sorry I haven't been posting on my main channel as much. Um, this week has been rough. I've been on, you know, woman issues. Y'all know what I'm talking about. But, um, I'm sorry. I feel like I've been posting on my, my vlog channel is so freaking long. Like, I've posted my birthday vlogs on my main channel. So, if y'all want to go, uh, see that, subscribe to my main channel. It'll be in the description below. Um, also follow my social medias. Um, they're also be in a link tree description. I mean, they're down below too, but they're also, there's a link tree link that will take you to all my social medias, my YouTube channels, everything. So, it's all in one place. I did that for y'all. So, ooh, bad. But yeah, so I'm about to go to my interview. I'll let y'all know how it is after, um, ooh, after, um, I do it and stuff and how I feel about it, um. And yeah, things of that nature. I'm not sure what I'm going to vlog today. Um, I might do like a little vlogging, like cooking on here as well. Because I'm supposed to be cooking baked mac and cheese again. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to do anything else with it. Um, we have potatoes, but I don't know if I'm going to make potato salad. I really want to, but if like stuff is going out of them potatoes, because I've had them for a minute, then I'm probably not going to touch them. I'm sorry, but uh, y'all, I'm sorry. But, like, when stuff starts growing out of it, I can't touch it. It's nasty. Like, ew. But, um, yeah. Also, did y'all know? This is why I will never eat the Walmart salad bowls again. My friend Jay, um, she said she followed this dude on TikTok. And he will say, oh, what's not clean and um, stuff like that at Walmart. Boy, tell me why he said those bowls of salads that we get with the like the cob salad bowl and stuff that they be selling, they say they lettuce is not clean. It's not fresh. We think we eat fresh stuff, y'all. We over here eating it straight from the bag. Can y'all believe that? That shit blew me. I was like, no, Walmart do everything wrong. For y'all to be one of the biggest companies in the world or in the United States. Y'all are like, y'all don't care about safety. People have allergies and all that shit. Like, you don't know what could put, like, like stir it up and stuff. So, for y'all not to clean y'all shit, it's highly disrespectful. And also, I'm going to make an announcement on my main as well. But I just want to announce to my vlog channel that I'm very proud of my mom. She has so many doubts about what she wanted to do in her lifetime. And now she's very passionate about doing her business it's called Fighting for Purpose. Um, if y'all in the Charlotte, North Carolina area, it's going to be November. I'll let y'all know. I'll post the pop-up um, thing at the, at the end of this video. But um, she's having a pop-up shop. So if y'all in the Charlotte, North Carolina area and y'all want to go um, support my mom and she's doing raffles. She has she's gonna have vendors there, food trucks, everything. So um yeah. If y'all in the Charlotte area, um in North Carolina, I'll uh go support her. I'm gonna put it at the end because I don't really I don't remember the date, but um yeah, it's a pop up shop. Um she's gonna have merch there, all that stuff. And it'll be really good and I really appreciate it if y'all go and support her. Like it'll really mean so much to me. Cause I really love my mom and I'm very proud of her. She actually, and I want y'all to leave a bunch of congratulations down below for my mom. She quit her job that she's been working at cause she hasn't, like lately she has not been happy at her job. And she's been telling us like a lot that she has not been happy with her job. And um, she finally quit it to do what she feel is her purpose. And I love that. I'm, so thankful and she's emotional but when she got emotional i got emotional i'm about to get emotional now 
But like when I see my mom, I see my mom prospering and doing things that she loves. It makes me so happy and I'm so proud of her because I know since she had kids, she couldn't really do like the stuff that even before she had kids, like raising her brothers and stuff and didn't raise it us. She didn't have time for herself, you know, and I'm really proud of her because she's finally getting to do something that she loves. And like God is giving her all these signs and stuff. But yeah, um, I gotta go. My friend here. I'll let y'all know how the interview is and then I'll just talk about what my mom is doing and all that stuff. Love y'all. Bye. Hey guys, I'm finally back from my interview. Um I low-key wanna get this hair dyed. Cause y'all can't tell, but this hair is like way browner than my actual hair. Y'all can't really tell. But um yeah, I wanna get these dyed while they're in my head. Um, I'm trying to see if somebody can do it. Um, I'm thinking I want to do. I'm even gonna. I'm also gonna dye my real hair, cause my real hair is attached to this. So, um, I'll probably get. Um, I do. Do y'all think I should do an ombre, like a black and like a fiery red, or do y'all think I should do a black and blue? Or just full on black, just black. Like dye my hair black, dye this hair, the bundles black. Just do that. Like, what do y'all think I should do? Um, I'm gonna try to contact people and see if they can, um, they can dye it while it's in my head. Cause uh, this ombre, like kind like my hair, and with this, like I wouldn't mind if it was the same color, but it's really not. So. It's not the same color. I wish I could show y'all, but I don't feel like getting up right now because I'm tired, actually. Um, it's 10. It's 10, 18. Um, I got home around 9-something because I went to McDonald's and got some food. And y'all, me and Sheree saw this fine-ass dude. Like, he was fine. He was fine, fine, fine. He was fine. Yeah, he was fine. But, um, yeah, he was, he was so fine, y'all. But, um, yeah, so, it's dark. Still love for you, though. I'm about to get on your ways. Um, y'all, my TikTok is going up. So, make sure y'all, I don't know if y'all can see it. It says, it's, it's in the description if y'all want to go follow me. Please do, please do. I'm going to give y'all, like, a little snippet. Hopefully, they don't copyright it. But. Okay. And then this one. Like I'm just doing like little clippings. Oh my god. This is not a promotion. He didn't pay me to do this. But y'all need to um go follow this. I mean not follow, but y'all need to listen to this dude. Um Um I don't know if y'all know him, but his name is Noah Davis. But y'all need to follow him. This song, I'm gonna give y'all a little preview of what it's hit. Like it's so good. Like I got it. Honestly, you guys forget about the song of the summer. I just dropped the song of the year. Listen to this. Okay. That's all I'm getting because I don't want to get copyrighted. Okay. I don't want to get copyrighted. If I get copyrighted, I'm going to be pissed. And I'm going to just leave this video. Honestly. No, because when you get copyrighted, they have it like to where you can't get monetized and shit. But. So. Yeah, I would have to delete this video. Or like or like just take the um the sound off. But I want y'all to hear it because only little snippets. So I'm gonna try to upload it first with the snippets. And then if they copyright it, then I'll take the sound of it. So whichever version y'all get, just know. They either did copyright me or they didn't. Just saying. But yeah, like I was saying before, um, I had went to my interview. My interview went well. It was like five minutes. <laughs> it was five minutes. He basically uh, took me. He told me what it was about, what I'll be doing. We went through the freezer. We went through the frozen because I'll be doing like stocking like frozen and freezer stuff. And I was like, okay, that's fine. Because when you know when you work, you get hot and stuff. But I'll be in a cool, so I'll be okay. So um, I was like, okay. And my hours, I told him I'll be. I want to mainly do like morning i'm available for in the morning which is like five to two or four to one um which is uh, fine to me because i'm an early bird anyway um 
and I told him I had open availability. Um, if I have, I have concert dates that I already paid for the concert tickets. So if I do get hired, I'm just getting the the dates that I can't go. Um, because I'm not, I can't get that money back. So they might have to let me go. Point blank, period. But for now, I told him that I had open availability, which I do, because I'm not in school at the moment. Um, I mostly told him the main, um, the morning shift because I am planning, um, I'm starting to like lean towards counseling, like marriage, family, kids, counseling and stuff like that. Um, or like psychologists, something like that in that area. Um, can y'all let me know down below what's good colleges for that? Like, I really want to know, but, um, yeah. So, this part might go on my main because I need to know from my main channel people. Well, it, it don't matter. But, um, yeah, this is going to be a vlog. But, yeah, I just ate. Um, like I was saying earlier before I had, before now, I am so proud of my mom. I love her. She know I am her backbone. And I will always be there for her no matter what. I will support her through anything. I will, I, because like throughout my whole life she supported me even though we had our ups and downs together as a family and stuff we always come back together and we always appreciate each other for what we like for each other um especially since um since my dad passed in 2016 we became closer as a family yes we have our problems sometimes but we always work through them um so far it's been really good um i'm just proud of my family i'm proud of their accomplishments uh, my sister's in college. My brother, he's not doing college, but he's working. And I don't care what nobody say. Like, in the future, I just want y'all to let y'all know. I will never force my child to do something that they don't want to do. If they don't want to go, like my mom did. Like, she understood. Like, we all knew, like, my brother, he wasn't going to college because he didn't like school anyway. But, like, oh, I'm sorry to put his business up there. I'm sorry, Junior. But, like, I don't think he really cares. But, yeah, like, he's working. He's he's doing his stuff and honestly one day he might go to community college like he said he would and just or he just want to go to like um start like doing mechanical or engineering stuff some he said but like i'm proud of all my family members because they all doing something i'm they, i'm getting a job i'm trying to you know you trying to i'm planning to go if i find like a great school um I was trying to do graduate school online, but if it does come come down to it, I'll just do it on campus. I don't really care. But um, since I'm starting in spring, if I, cause I want to start in spring of this year, so spring of 2022 of this um, school semester, I'm in mean school year. So if I start in spring, I can't do on campus. So I would have to find, uh, <clears throat> I would have to do, you know, uh, what is it? I would have to do, in campus yeah so if so if i do it in spring i would have to do it online if i do it in fall i'm gonna do it on campus if i can't find a good online school um so far um nccu has some good um counseling but can y'all let me in the, know in the description like what schools is good for counseling for family members and stuff like that i guess not. i know y'all probably like what the hell I got great jelly on my own. I think I don't worry about that. But um, yeah, I'm not clipping this out. So, but yeah, um, I really like I really love my family. I really appreciate them. Like no matter what, um, they're like I. You remember I did that crying video on my main channel about how I was scared to tell them that I wasn't going into law school, which I understand because now that my mom did something, she was scared to tell us, which we, we're her kids. Like, we're going to love you no matter what. We're going to support you no matter what. So, like, um, she was crying and stuff, and it made me cry. Like I said earlier, oh, I'm about to cry again. Just think about it. But, um, yeah, like, I love my family. Like, they're so supportive. And when I mean my family, I mean, like, my immediate family. Um, I love the rest of my family. We don't talk as much, but like my close cousins and stuff, we talk like we talk like I talk to them. Like they support me no matter what as well. But it's just something about like when you have your immediate family, like your mom, your siblings, like supporting you and not judging you, and they just let you do what you want to do and support you. It just it's 
it's great because a lot of people don't have that. Ooh. And I just know, like, I'm so grateful. Like, and my kids will have the same thing. Like, my kids, if they want to do something and they don't want to go to college, okay, that's understandable. I'm not going to force them to go to college, you feel me? Because not every just because you go to college don't mean you won't become successful there are plenty of people who don't go to college and probably like they're probably one of the most successful people out here while people go to um go through college and be stocked up on these loans you know and they still they work in nine to five jobs I don't want to train my daughter and them to be like a damn robot. My daughter, my son, I don't want to train them to be a robot. If they don't want to work on nobody, they don't have to. Because I will always be there to support them no matter what. Of course, they're going to have to get on their own at some point. But even in, even when they do get on their own, I'm going to raise them to be independent. Even though they do get on their own, I'm still going to let them know, like, hey, I'm still there for you. So, if like, if anything happens, just tell me and I'll be there for you and all that stuff. You feel me? So, yeah, me, um, me, Jay, and her sisters talked about this last night. Like, um, some stuff, like, that happens and people in the older generations, like, criticizing the younger generations because we do things differently but my thing is i feel like our generation is better because now the older generation i feel is a little jealous of this generation because they didn't get the opportunity to do as much as we do now like people don't want to work in a shitty ass job nine to five doing something they don't like and now like that they're older they finally get to do the stuff that they like but since we're doing it at a younger age, it makes it seem like, like oh, we're not trained or, oh, like, just because we're doing something different than you and better than you, you get offended and you're coming for our generation. You feel me? Like, if it's one thing about this generation, we, we is, we're going to do, like, we're going to do something. We are. It might not be the ideal of what people do, but we're going to do something that makes us feel great. We're going to do something that helps us make money. Like, I'm doing this YouTube stuff so I can get monetized so that way I can um, help support me and my family. But I'm also doing this to help other people with diabetes, with um, weight loss journey, um, low calorie journey, um just showing plus size people can also wear what other people do i'm trying to send a message to other people out there you feel me so that's why i'm just this that's my this is what my main channel platform and my vlog channel platform is about and i want people to know that so well this part might go I'll also go on my main channel because i want people to hear this like I feel so bad for the people who parents don't support them and people who parents haven't grown up with an open mind. You feel me? Like, this generation, not this generation, but the old generation criticized this generation because we're so open-minded to stuff. Like, we're so open-minded for people of transgender, people who's gay, lesbians. We're so open-minded and we accept everybody. And for some reason, the older generation does not like that. I'm not sure why, but they don't like that because of the old ways. But, like, you got to get over it because this is a new generation. Another generation come in. They're going to be more open-minded. You feel me? So, I just feel like they just, they don't really accept us. But for the parents who do accept y'all kids and y'all don't push them out when stuff get hard, like, 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 if I... Like, I'm just saying, not saying, like, this is going to happen. But if I was pregnant right now, my mom would be so supportive of me. Like, she might be, like, a little, you know, she might feel like, oh, like, I feel like, I don't know, honestly. I can't predict my mom thing, but I feel like she'd probably be, like, a little disappointed because I didn't wait. Or that I didn't tell her I was sexually active. Not saying I am, but I'm just saying if I was and then I popped up pregnant, I feel like she still would support me no matter what. And that's what a good parent does. Like, like even though it might not be ideal for them, like, it's, it's you supporting them through anything and everything. You feel me? Not like, oh, you're going to get an abortion or, oh, I'm going to make you do this or make you do that. Like, she's no. It's just... I don't know. 
But I'm glad that me and my family are more closer together. Maybe since we're all separate, it makes our bond stronger. Um, um, I guess, I'm guessing, um, I feel like that's for anybody. I feel like when you stay with somebody for so long, you know, arguments just start coming out of nowhere and it'd be pointless arguments and stuff like that. But I feel like since me and my mom like separated, like our bond has gotten stronger. So when we see each other, it's like, oh my God, like I missed you and stuff and we'll have fun and stuff. But it's like, I don't know. It's like when you separate yourself from your family a little, that bond grows stronger because y'all need that space apart. You feel me? Um, so yeah, I feel like also like my siblings and my mom, uh, relationship going to be better, especially because my brother, he works. So they got that, that apart and my mom be working late, but she don't work no more because she quit her job, which I'm so proud of her. Like my, if you see this, I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud to call you my mother. Like, I'm so proud of you. And I hope this video make you cry because I cried too. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I love my family with all my heart. Um, I'm going to support them. I'm going to be 10 toes, 100 toes down behind them as well because I know they're going to do the same for me. And we always support each other no matter what our decision is. Because why? Because the Lord did it for a reason. The Lord made us do that decision for a reason. Because better things are soon to come. Even though it might be hell in some areas and obstacles in some areas, there is going to be a bright side. And whenever you cross over to that, you're going to feel such a huge relief. Such a huge relief that you did what you did. Because obviously it happened for a reason. It happened for a reason. But yeah, I know I'm over here preaching. You know, preach on stage. Oh my God. Do y'all think I should have preaching Sundays where I upload a video of me preaching about a certain topic? Do y'all think I should do that? That would be lit. I would do that for y'all. I would do that for y'all. Y'all can just leave me topics in the description below. I mean, not description, in the comments below. And like every Sunday, I'll do like a preaching session and I'll upload it that Sunday. It'll probably be later on that Sunday after I do the preach. I'll probably edit a little. I'm trying not to cuss. <laughs> okay, I might do it Saturday just in case I cuss. But I'm going to do it like, I'm going to do like every, um, yeah, put down like um, in the comments what you want your, um, what you want me to preach on about Sundays and I will do it Saturday and I will upload it Sunday for y'all so y'all can watch it. Do y'all want me to do that? That would be low-key we lit. Um, because I want to give my advice on stuff. Um, that's why I think I would be so good in counseling. I feel like not only will I get that professional opinion, but I will also get, um, but I will also get, uh, um, I pr I pr um, y'all will get my opinion. So that's why I want to become like a counselor or a psychologist because I can use professional things mixed with, with my opinion things and I want to have like my own office where I have my own clients and I can talk to them talk through them about their problems ask them how their day is going give them advice and I'll give them my professional opinion what they should do do y'all think that would be good for me I think that would be so good for me because I love giving people advice even though I might get emotional in it because I'm so involved in it but I feel like I would love to do that like I feel like every like every day like I'm continuously continuously seeing myself you know being as somebody who gives advice to people and have clients and you know be like somebody people could go to when they don't want to talk to their parents they could talk to me and I can give them advice whether you're right or wrong I'm gonna let you know if you're right or wrong but I'm gonna do it in the most gentlest way like to let you know like I'm gonna be one of the realest counselor psychologist that people will ever meet like dead ass i think i would i don't know i just have to figure out like what field to go into for that i need to talk to somebody that's what i need to do i need to talk to somebody so they can help me and know which field to go into um for graduate school so yeah um that's all i wanted to say uh, yeah because this video is getting long because i got the other part too and i'm not i'm not you know cutting this but, um, thank y'all for listening. Um, 
my family. I hope y'all see this. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Um, I'm always going to love y'all. We're going to rock together forever. No matter how far away we are of each other. No matter. Um, I'm about to get emotional again. No matter how far apart we go. Or how separate ways we go. I will always love y'all no matter what. Ooh. I'm sorry, but, um, yeah, I hope our bond continues to get stronger, and I love y'all, oh, Jesus, but yeah, that's the end of this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, thank y'all for all my new subscribers, um, let me see, I really appreciate y'all, make sure y'all go follow my TikToks, I know, I'm always emotional, I don't know, I'm glad because I get to show y'all my vulnerable side. We're at 269 subs right now, y'all. We almost at uh, 300 subs. Uh, we got to get to 500 subs by my mom's birthday, which is October 5th. That'll be a great birthday present for her. And I'll be giving away $200 on my main channel. This is for my main channel. Even though it's going on my vlog channel, too, um, I, it's for my main channel because we at 269 subs. But, yeah. From my main channel, if we get to 500 subs, I'll give I'll be giving um $200 away to either two or four people. As I know, Dream Gang is the best gang. We the only gang. Period. Period. But yeah, that's in this video. I love y'all so much. But yeah, um, yeah. Let me know in the comments if y'all want to um me to do preacher Sundays. Um, let me what know what else videos y'all want to see with my friends and stuff. Um, in the comments down below. And we're out. Bye.